Is Mile Bridges headed to the big house? Let's talk about it. You are listening to you Basketball Talk at Independent Raw. Yeah, Raw. yeah Raw. boy! Basketball yeah. news, yeah. interviews, yeah. interviews yeah. And topics, yeah. and much, yeah. much more. Yeah. So without further ado, so without put, further your hands hands put your hands together for Independent Raw. Raw. Okay, hot off the presses. I'm going to say it again. Hot off the presses. NBA star, Mile Bridges from the Charlotte Hornets have arrest warrant out on him. This is according to the, what is the name of this? What is the name of that county that he's in? Uh... Mackenberg County, North Carolina Sheriff's Office. They're saying that the arrest warrant has been out for Bridges since January of this year. However, for some reason, they're also saying that they weren't able to serve him with the arrest warrant. Which, in my mind, that's only because they haven't been trying to serve him with the rest warrant. However, we got to go to the history of this whole thing. We go to the history of this whole thing. Last year in November, uh, Bridges was um, arrested for domestic violence on his girlfriend. This young lady, he has two kids with her. And the allegations is that he beat her down. Allegedly. Now, I I like to use that word allegedly loosely in this instance because he went to court and he pled no contest. And for those who don't know what no contest mean, you're not saying you're not admitting to guilt and you're not saying that you didn't do it. And... Uh, So you plead no contest. Which means in my mind. You did it. Anyway. On the conditions. Of that. uh, Of that scrimmage that he got into last year. They loaded dude up man. He was sentenced to probation. 100 hours of community service. He was ordered to attend parenting classes. And counseling. But here's the biggie. The victim was granted 10 year restraining order against uh, Miles. So, in other words, they're saying you can't go 100 yards within your baby mother for the next 10 years. Which, to be honest with you guys, I think that is completely obsessive. That's what I do because understand this. No, I don't condone to no man beating up on no woman, especially some big six five, six to six dude like him. No, I don't condone to that. But let's look at it for what it is. And if we look at it for what it is, we're just going to assume if they have two kids, they don't have a whole lot of good days. And this one bad day. And, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not in a household, so I don't know. It could have been a bunch of bad days. But the one day he was arrested, the court order says you are not allowed to come within this woman for 10 years. That's obsessive. That's really obsessive. Why couldn't it be a shorter term and then... Based on what happened within that shorter term, a judge can go back and determine whether it should be extended. Or you really don't have to do that. All the women have to do is go back and file another complaint. Which, obviously, she did file another complaint because as the rest took place last year, November, they're saying he violated his order of protection order in January 
by breaking her window shield. This is what they're saying. I don't know. I wasn't there. But nevertheless, dude is in trouble now. Because if we want to talk about things from the basketball side of things, Miles was sitting out last year, right? Because he was seeking a max contract. Playing for the Shonda Hornets. Everybody know, if anybody know anything about Michael Jordan, they know Mike is tight. I say it again. Mike is tight. Mike was not paying that man no $157 million. And, and maybe that's rightfully so with the way the uh, Charlotte Hornets has performed. But he was sitting out for that, seeking a new contract. Then come the allega- the rest, the allegations, the probation, etc., etc., etc. So Bridges wound up signing a seven million dollar contract. A lot of money from one fifty seven. He signed a one year deal for like seven million dollars. That was just just happened like July or something like that. The NBA. They responded to his conviction. And the NBA said, man, listen, I ain't cool, bro. You got arrested and convicted for domestic violence. So the NBA gave him a 30-year, 30-year, 30-game suspension that was supposed to start this season. However, since, uh, since, uh, Miles sat out all last year. Adam Silver, he decided to credit him 20 games out of the 30 games he was supposed to play. So, which meant that he would only have to sit out 10 games this season. And to be honest with you, I want to say, I have to do a little research on it. I haven't researched it, so don't, don't take me to the bank with this. You know, 99% of the stuff you can take me to the bank because it's accurate. But this right here, I'm not 100% sure. I'm thinking that within those 10 games, I'm thinking that the NBA would count preseason games also. Don't quote me on that. You could do your own research. But that's what I'm thinking in my mind. However, now that the that the that uh, that this county had just served... They haven't served them, but they just... Uh, let him know that he has a rest warrant out. And they're saying that he violated the conditions of his order of protection. That is a game changer, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what's going to happen with this guy. We really don't know. Because they take that very serious, man. You go... You get arrested, you get an order of protection, someone takes out an order of protection against you, which is saying that you are a threat to them and their livelihood and their safety. And then allegedly, you break that order of protection. That's serious, man. Because the last thing, the last thing that that county wants is to have order protection out and you go back and you kill that lady and I'm not saying that this NBA player is going to do it but I, what I am saying is that is the last thing that they want to happen so far we have not heard from Miles Bridges we haven't heard from his attorney I'm quite sure we will hear something shortly you know but in closing, what I'm just trying to figure out is why now? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why now? If you're saying the incident was was held in January, then you're saying uh, you're saying it was held in January. You're saying the warrant was placed in January. Then you're turning around and you're saying you can't serve him with the warrant. That don't sound that that just doesn't sound right. It it, it it doesn't sound right. This guy's a public figure. 
You guys ever heard of a team called the Charlotte Hornets? You can contact them. Say, hey, we got a warrant for one of your players. So I, I it, it it really seemed, you know, the timing of this seemed suspect to me. Because look when it comes out. Now that NBA preseason is in effect. Now we're putting the warrant. Now you're putting the warrant out during that NBA season. Now you're making it known that there's a warrant now. I don't know, man. The timing of this seems kind of suspect, but we're gonna all sit back and wait and see what happened with this uh this whole situation. And with that, I'm Independent Rob. You listening to Basketball Talk with Independent Rob. Till next time, see you. Peace. My name is Daryl, and I do a lot of long distance driving. And when I'm driving, I enjoy listening to Basketball Talk with Independent Rob. Love the content. This is Coach Thomas. When I'm not watching basketball, I'm listening to Independent Raw Basketball Talk. Thank me later. Hey, this is Kelly. When I'm driving to work, I'm listening to Basketball Talk with Independent Rob.